What's the number one listing opportunity right now, 2023? And this is something you really want to listen to because we're pre-spring market right this second. And I feel like we're going to have this massive wave of activity in the spring that you need to prepare for. You need to stack listings to the moon. And I want to talk about what I think the best opportunity is right now to do that. And right now, all over the country, you know, it's per market. Markets are local, of course. But we're seeing multiple offers coming back. Not like it was. But we're seeing multiple offers come back. Why? Because inventory is dropping like a rock. Um, interest rates have trickled down. And the the demand is still there. The demand, I mean, we lost some demand, yes, but there's so much demand. It's overwhelming when you look at uh, inventory. And inventory isn't even back to anywhere near pre-pandemic levels. So we're in this predicament, honestly, guys. And I feel like we're going to have this massive rush in the spring. After that, I don't know what's going to happen, honestly, because if the market becomes too overheated, then we don't know what's going to happen if they're going to raise rates back to cool it off. See, these are, these are the things that could happen. Either way it goes, if you go out and stack listings right now, you're going to win regardless, because if we don't have a wave of, of activity in the spring, you're still going to win because things are still selling. 33% of homes right now that hit the market are selling in less than two weeks. So one in every three houses that you list on average is going to sell and go under contract within two weeks. 21% of houses are still selling above listing price. Now that's what it was back in March of 2020. So we're getting back to a little bit normal there. But let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a very, very incredible market, way above average. This is really dream market, uh, if you really want to know. We've got 30 listings right now, active. Um, so that's the most we've had in years, and we're still stacking listings. I picked up two more today, so really 31 right now. And we're going to continue to stack, 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 stack. Ruth team is stacking listings, and that's exactly what you need to do. These listings aren't necessarily selling very fast. A lot of them are kind of sitting there. We've had some of them for a little while, but that's okay. Because when that wave comes, we're going to be the only ones sitting there with inventory. And that's the position I want you to be in. Today, I want to talk about um, what the listing opportunity is. And I want to talk about, you know, hitting these uh, property owners because that's who lists properties. You have to actually create those relationships and have conversations with property owners. But I want you to hit them not only over the phone, you know, the traditional cold calling methods. And I know you're thinking, oh God, cold calling. But I also want you to get in front of them on social. So I want to teach you today really quickly. I want to make this video as short as possible of how to hit the exact property owners that you want to do business with. I'm not talking about geo leads or circle prospecting. I want you to hit these property owners on digital so that they see you and become familiar with you before you call them. And maybe some of them saw you on social. Maybe some of them didn't. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, leads are leads. Leads are humans in the market. And you want to target property owners and develop those relationships so that when they decide to buy or sell, they're going to call you. That's the name of the game, accumulating relationships in the market. You know, you can go out and spend a bunch of money on leads. It's all going to come back to the same place, just gathering data to then call them. Every single lead generation source, Facebook, Zillow, whatever, you're collecting data. It's just a matter of how much you want to spend on the data. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to call them regardless. This is a way where you can do it for very cheap uh, very cheaply get in front of them on social before you call them. Hey, why not? And you can do it all in one convenient spot. So let's dig into this. I'm going to dig into the scripts and everything, what I want you to do. Um, and just to, just so you know, I've been calling the market exactly what's happening right now with multiple offers happening. I've been talking about that for months that there's no way you can have you know, inventory dropping, interest rates coming down with inflation while demand's building and not see multiple offers again in the market. Um, and so I'm not saying I'm a fortune teller, but I've play, I've been calling it pretty well so far through this market shift. And what I'm seeing is a massive, sh a massive wave in the spring. And then I don't know what's going to happen after that. I'm going to have to take a look at what happens. What's the aftermath going to be? We know inventory is going to come back up because it comes back up every year around springtime. It starts gradually climbing. So that means there's going to be less demand after the springtime rush. I'm telling you guys, 
this is this is happening in slow motion. It's nothing that's hard to see. So let's talk about this, hitting these property owners on social, but also calling them. See, I think you need to have both. You know, the calling them, which is the old school, you know, traditional way. And then you've got the modern, you know, digital uh, uh, advertising way. Do both. That's where you're going to see some massive, massive results. And when you're talking to people, it's like you don't care who you're talking to. You got to get out of this mindset that, oh, they, you know, it's cold call or that, you know, they're going to be, you're just scared and you're nervous. You got to get over all that because these are human beings that live in the same area as you. You already right there have some some common ground that you live in the same spot. What's the chances that somebody else in the world lives in the same area as you? It's like, you know, whatever. There's 8 billion people in the world. What are the chances that, you know, one of those people live in the same area that you? Very, very little. That's common ground right there. <laughs> and that's what I think about all the time when I'm calling people. I mean, these are your people. You know, think of yourself as a volunteer worker doing community outreach to see what you can do to help people. Let's dive in here. So the type of leads, and these are my favorite leads. And again, I don't want you to think, oh, he's talking about cold calling. I'm not. I'm talking about hitting these leads on social and calling them both. All right. But for me, we're having an influx of expired listings because of the market. People overpriced their listings thinking it was still 2021 and those listings didn't sell. Those are the perfect candidates to reach out to. And I'm not just talking about recent. I'm talking about, you know, one, two, three, four, five, even 10 year old expireds. Right. And some of these expires that are old may have sold. That's okay. Talk to them. Treat them like family. See what it is that they're doing now and what you can do to help them moving forward in their real estate journey. This is what you have to get really good at, the communication side. And quit focusing on that listing, that property. Focus on that person, what you can do to help them. That's what you need to be thinking about. A lot of the expires that I represented, I, I helped them as buyers. I was their buyer agent. I called them about the expired as an excuse to call them and talk to them. I used the property as an excuse to talk to them, to connect with them, to see what I could do to help them. That's the secret right there. If you can get into that mindset that it's not about the property, it's about listening and trying to figure out what we can do to help this person and asking the right questions. Why are you looking to buy or sell? Are you already working with an agent? So on and so forth. Then we're really going to get somewhere. Okay. And having a calm demeanor um, and realizing that when you walk into a process, a situation with the prospect, you don't care if they want to buy or sell. That's the best. Because you know your pipeline is so large because you, 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 when you open your mind up that your pipeline is every human in the market, it, it turns into a totally different ball game, right? And you know you have unlimited business forever. So let's dive in here. How do we find these expires? How do we hit them on social before we call them? And what script do we use when we're talking to them? So let's dive into all this really quickly and so I can let you guys get back to your day. Um, so we're going to find them on Red X. We're going to go to Red X. You can go to redxdiscount.com to save $150. The, the setup fee will be waived. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, but Or on zerodiamond.com. And on Zero to Diamond, there's a free course on expires that has tutorials, videos of me making calls. I'll also link the funniest video of me calling expires at the end of this video. So wait till the end and you can click that one and watch me call expires live. Um, but Red X, uh, and you're and you want to going to want to get uh, Expireds Plus. When you get it, uh, Red X, you might as well get GeoLeads Plus, Expireds Plus, a multi-line dialer, and Ad Builder. So when you get Plus, you're getting emails. You're going to use those emails. Red X is actually going to use those emails to find those people on social, and then you're going to be able to run ads to those owners through Ad Builder. Ad Builder is fifty dollars, and you can create the ad right there on Red X and click the box expires or whatever folder in Red X that you want to uh, to send uh, ads to. And then, boom, it's very user-friendly. You don't have to learn how to use Facebook Ad Manager or any of that stuff. You can literally create very easily, very super user-friendly, the ad, who you want to send it to, how much money you want to put on the ad, and boom, it's out the door. And so you can you can pick up, ex pick up Expireds Plus, Okay, go back 10 years or however many years your MLS goes back. You might have to call Red X to have them walk you through how to get the old expireds. When they do that, don't allow them to take out the the uh, the ones that relisted and sold. 
They're going to want to try to do that. Say, no, nah, I just want all of them. Because you don't care if they sold. Remember that you just want the human. But also get the withdrawns and cancels. So expireds, withdrawns, and cancels for like 10 years or however far back your MLS will allow you. Um, and then get all of them. Okay. And then let's start running ads. Day one, you know, get them in your folder, run ads to them, and then start calling them and have those ads running for weeks and weeks and weeks. And some of the people you talk to may not have saw the ads. They may not be on Facebook or whatever. And some of them, a lot of them will. And if you have some really good videos, have like three or four ads, you know, videos, some images, some different things, um, and have them be call to action ads to click, to give you their information or to ask questions or to DM you or whatever. Have call to actions on these ads and you're going to start getting leads. Not only the ones you're calling that recognize you from the ads, but also leads from the ads. This is absolutely genius um, because it costs so little to do this. You're targeting the exact people you want to do business with. And you don't have to run a bunch of general ads to the general public. These ads are only going to be seen. Every penny you spend on ads are going to be seen only by expireds or geo leads. If you have geo leads and you build that list, you can send ads there. You can also upload your past clients to the database and run ads to them as well, right there in ad, within Ad Builder on Red X. So it's absolutely incredible. Why aren't why is why isn't this the main? Uh, you know, the, 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 the main thing that agents are doing because it's so cheap, you're targeting the exact people, you're hitting them on digital, and you're calling them. Why not? I don't know. I hadn't figured it out. This is absolutely the best. I would be crushing this. So um, let's get into the scripts really quickly. When you call them, and you can download my scripts at zerotodiamond.com in the course. I'll put that in the description. But um, when you call them, I love them so much because they tell you a story. It's like... Hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Ricky Carruth at whatever real estate company here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. How are you doing today? Cool. Me too. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous out there? Great. Well, listen, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I see you were trying to sell this house, whatever. You know, whatever happened with that? Boom. That is it right there. Now, that conversation could go so many different directions, but you know you want to take it in a place of exactly what they're trying to do, why they're trying to do it, if they're working with another agent already or the original agent or whatever. And at the end of the day, if it's kind of, you know, either way it goes, you would love the opportunity to stay in touch. But you're listening for the opportunities of what they're trying to do so you can create a custom game plan around what they're trying to do so that you can help them do it. I've never really sold a piece of property. I've only helped people do what they're trying to do. I'm in the service industry. I'm not in the sales industry. I'm not trying to sell myself or sell a property. I'm trying to service, you know, sir, how can I help you? What are you trying to do? Okay, well, this is how we should move forward if that's what you're trying to do. This is the best route. That's what I do. So um, I hope that's the, you know, that's what you subscribe to is uh, getting out there and trying to help people and uh, working it from that angle because it's been so good for me when I plug them into my weekly email and, you know, people know I'm here to help. My business blew up and I was able to sell 100 properties for eight years in a row as a single agent, working just five to 10 hours a week on my business. I wasn't, a lot of people think, oh, you're running around like a crazy man. No, I was working very little on my real estate business. I was working hard building other businesses and building my brand and creating content and writing books and stuff like that. But at that point, I wasn't spending much time on my real estate business. So Anyway, the number one opportunity right now uh, for listings is expired. And you need to hit it so hard, along with geo leads. Um, hit them on digital, call them, but you need to be hitting this so hard right now and stacking listings to the moon before we see this massive wave. That way, you're going to reap the full benefits of this wave that comes through. So go to redxdiscount.com to grab those discounts. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever in the comments below. And I'm going to put that video right here uh, of me calling expired. You're going to, this is a I funny one. So you're going to love that. And um, yeah, no, I hope you got a lot out of this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. I-35 with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs.